All right, this is a uh, quick tutorial on how to fix a uh, dual flush uh, toilet uh, with uh, siphon. So I had a hard time online uh, finding exactly what the problem was because there's a lot of settings and everything. So here we go. Hope this helps uh, some of you out. Basically, uh, I had changed the uh, siphon over here and I still wasn't getting any uh, pressure in the tank so just to, so uh, we're on the same page here, okay? There are two little circles on top of the uh, of the uh, mechanism here. So you have a big circle and a half circle. Obviously, the big circle is for max flush. Half is for half flush. And your uh, tab here should be at the bottom for max pressure for your. Uh, for your uh, water uh, debit and the uh, same thing on that uh, little weight here like a little floater should be completely at the bottom in order to give you max pressure so here I insert it back in the tank here sorry about that and there you go let that fill up now the problem was after doing all that uh, I still wasn't getting pressure in the tank and uh, after a lot of searching I uh, I found someone online who explained that right in here okay in this hole here okay there often is an accumulation with the years of if your water is a little bit hard of calcium and all kinds of uh, debris from not necessarily from people going to the bathroom but from the the uh, municipal water so i checked and indeed that hole was completely blocked with calcium so the easiest way to unblock this you don't even need clr you just take a liter of vinegar i just dumped it all in with some uh, um, uh, the uh, with arm and hammer baking soda so i dumped everything in and uh let it sit for about let's say 15 minutes loosened everything right away i took a metal rod just scratched everything out and uh voila i have amazing pressure works like a charm i was gonna get a new toilet bowl and uh, thank god because we like it it was expensive and it works like it used to the first day we got it so I hope that helps some of you. Good luck.